And welcome back, friends, to Undertale. This guy didn't want our water, so we're just gonna move along here. The wa water evaporated from the heat. Cup evaporated, too. Okay. Uh, probably gonna s stop here last time, but who knows? Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. Oh, thank you. Uh, sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was a... There was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway. We'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Uh, this guy has nothing to say. What? 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 Yes, nothing. Lab. Uh, let's, let's, let's go down the stairs first. Who are you? Tra la la. I am the river man. Or I am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat. Uh, I guess this takes us back to the other places that we've been to. Let's try ride the boat. Where will we go today? Oh yeah, okay, so it's back towards the cities. Uh, let's go to Waterfall. Then we're off! Whee! So we're riding a boat with a... Um, Tra-la-la! Uh-oh, suddenly feeling tropical! There's a lot of very fun characters in this game. Come again sometime! Tra la la! Oh crap, it's this guy. Uh, I don't remember his voice, so I'm like. <laughs> hey, I'm giving too many voices to people. Careful, right? Ride the shoe bus! Let's go to Hotland. Because that's what we're doing today. No way! Hey, hey. The boat is a cat! That's awesome! Tra la la! Temi village! In the room before the darkening lantern room. I did press hotlines, right? Yeah. It's just a sh teleport system, I guess. Come again sometime! Tra la la! Alright, let's go check out the lab then. I'm starting to wonder. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. What's this? It's too dark to see near the walls. It's you? What the hell is this bus? It's too dark to see near the walls. So we gotta turn on the lights. Alright. There's dog food. Oh, who is this group? Lisa Simpson. Ah, oh, my God! I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and nothing. Um, <laughs> hiya! I am Doctor Alice. I am Asgore's royal scientist. B -b but uh, I'm not one of the bad guys, actually. Since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, so, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, that's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um... Uh, Anti-human anti combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I imme immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Okay. 
Well, there he is. Did you hear something? Through the wall, I guess. Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. <laughs> oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. <coughs> okay, I can't do that voice. <clears throat> Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule, answer correctly. Or you die. Oh, crap. <laughs> this metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the price for answering correctly? Uh, press it. Haha, <laughs> you wish wrong. The quiz show continues. Scream is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Correct. What a terrific answer. Okay. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams, snipe, snail, sugar, and spice, metal, and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Point in fighting him. Uh, yes. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and B, simultaneously depart and station. Ah! But wait, if I just stand here, he won't do anything, will he? Probably? Nope. Ouch. Quiz show continues. Let's cry a bit. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Sh you're shitting me, right? You're shitting me. Fuck it. Completely, utterly wrong. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Damn it. Streaming is against the rules, I know. But can you get this one? We just smooch a ghost. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Great answer, I love it. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name at the <laughs> Stop! Stop! No way! <laughs> oh. Time to break out the big guns. A dating simulation video game, New York. Oh, oh, I know this one. It's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for a friend, but it's snail flavor and she, uh, from my friend showing from here. It's actually a very powerful message about friendship. Uh, I probably should give me a voice, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, she even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphas helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. <laughs> well, that was certainly uh, something. I've already forgotten your voice. It's a half empty bag of dog food. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. But then maybe if you need help, 
I could. Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! Doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Aw. Uh. <laughs> Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. It even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Uh, yes. What's this? It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Computer, it's assessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game? A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. Damn straight! Can't go up there. It's a video feed of your location. That's pretty cool. Uh, do I need... Yes, I need to heal. But I don't really... The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. But... Hmm. Bathroom sign. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Let's go upstairs. All of these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled. Yeah, let's read one more. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. I would read that comic. I would seriously read that comic. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. Comic book again. A hideous android is running to school with a toast in its mouth. <laughs> Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. No, it doesn't. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Looks like Alfie's work table seems dusty. This is a very interesting place. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy-to-draw box. <laughs> okay. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Okay, so down we go. Interesting little workplace you got here, uh, Dr. Alfie. He's left the toilet. He's left the toilet. If you're wondering why I'm going up and down like this all the time, Alfie's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. VB. Some kind of smiley I don't get. Alfie updates that as well. I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it a bit later. Is this going to be the rest of the game? For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Okie doke. I should have healed. Let's, uh, let's have some, s no, not CT, instant noodles. From their packaging, you put some water in the pot and place it on the heat. You wait for the water to boil. <laughs> it's boiling. You place the noodles in the pot. Four minutes left. Until the noodles are finished. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> noodles are finished. They don't taste very good. You add the flavor packet, that's better. Not great, but better. 4 HP? You're hurt, I'll help. 
You're, 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 you're not helping. Shooting lava at me doesn't help. It's a weird rump. What about the CT? You're doing the CT. Your speed boosts. You recover 10 HP. Ah, I'll help. Healing magma. This is not healing me, sir. Okay, that made me sad. That sound. Oh. Damn it, this game. Seriously. Update is status. Gonna call them in a minute. Any time now. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Boom. Saved. Let's carry on a little bit more. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this laughing my ass off. I don't mind. I'll figure it out myself. Sundare plane <laughs> gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. <laughs> Notice me, Senpai Sar, please. Seems mean, but does it, does it secretly like you? <laughs> no way. Why would I like you? He's shooting planes at me. Ah! Oh! Not just planes. Smoke too, apparently. Jesus Christ. Looks over, then turns up. It no, it snows. Let's flirt with an airplane. You tell Sund airplane that it that you like its taste in movie and movies and books. <gasps> you sicko! Don't notice me, senpai. Shakes his nose dismissi dismissively at you. Approach. You get close to Sund airplane, but not too close. Eh, human? Smells like an airport perfume counter. Oh, it's got the red cheeks! Jesus Christ, approach. But not too close. Eh, human? <laughs> this is awesome! Let's do that one more time. <laughs> human eye. Flirt. <laughs> Tells him they're playing that it has an impressive wingspan. Ah, is that true? <laughs> well, I am officially flirting with an airplane. Well, I guess I can spare you now. You won, you earned 60 gold. Nothing to do here. Always Alphys, I mean. I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. There we go. Ring, ring. Click. What was calling up before you answered it? Jesus Christ. Ring. Uh, hi. So, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, off his hair. Hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. The orange ones, um, y you have to be moving. And they, um, they won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, bye! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did you call me? Ah, oh, shit. Oh! It's a switch. It's present. This is where they activate. That suits me well. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Post a picture. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Ah, uh, office here. Um, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I think I should go to the right first. Okay. I guess we're going to the right first then. Who are these cool, cool cats? The way, the way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch up, catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Metaton, yeah, he's 
the most popular star in the ground. This fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Ah! Wonder if it will be unfun if I explain the puzzle. Door leading through the area is closed, so I, I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo and it kept restarting. And my two co workers won't help. It's like they don't ever want to go to work. So, note here shoot the opposing ship, move the boxes to complete your mission. Congratulations. That wasn't really that difficult. That may have been the point, though. Ring. Office, here. That blue laser seems totally impassable, but, but as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotline Laser database and take it out. Click. You, sir. Hey, fire dude. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can. Well, um, I guess we'll just keep standing here. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated it out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. The rules! They've got to cancel school over this. Oh, another one. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission, blah, blah. Okay, how many shots do I have? Two. Boom. Eh. I had it. Why did I drop it? Damn it, I had it. Fucking had it. Man, I am a dunce. There we go. Let's just shoot the ship. Congratulations! I hope I'm only supposed to do this once. And here's the door. I opened it! And in the next episode, we will enter the door and see what's going on on the other side. Thanks so much for watching, folks. See you back next week for some more Undertale. Bye, friends!